Howdy y'all, Synark Fates here, and today this and today I'm gonna be making a Scooby-Doo Unmasked uh, All Levels tutorial. As there's basically no tutorial on this category, and I'm gonna be making one today. So just go over the basis, go to options real quick. Uh, rumble on and off is it's honestly to preference, but make sure autosave is off. And we're simply just gonna go to new game, click on any new file. And then the timer will start as soon as you press OK when it says alright oh, successful. Alright, we're just gonna be mashing through the first couple of cutscenes. Alrighty, so the main uh, movement we're going to be doing in this game is doing rolling, and to basically do that on controller, you're simply just going to actually just roll your thumb between A and X. Honestly, just take it slow at first, so just don't rush it, then you'll soon get better. Just honestly, like, start speeding it up a little bit more, and then you'll start getting used to it. As soon as you get that down, we can start moving on for the rest of the game. Go over here towards Shaggy. Double tap A for any uh, cutscene you get like that. Go over here, go to Velma. Jump over here to the clue. Press B to talk to Velma, then just hit the switch. Simply just roll down here. You don't have to be on the right side, just, just, just roll down here. Skip Fred's cutscene, then what you're gonna wanna do is simply just run over here double jump on this camera and simply double jump up here just so you can get to the zip line faster. Now simply go down this slide. I'm going to be showing two methods real quick. Just to get rid of all the rats just so they're not interrupting me. So what you want to do is line up in the middle of this, you're simply just gonna want to double jump and just simply just keep on wiggling your stick forward like this. You'll keep on jumping up here. As soon as you're up here, you can simply just go to the right. Then you're able to hit the button, which will release springs over here, so you can actually uh, reach over there to the end of the level. But if you don't want to do that method, this method's a lot harder. But it's easily doable. You're simply just gonna want to roll up. You're just gonna want to jump on this box and just roll. And you're, if you want to, just double jump so you get the camera in this position. And it's honestly, it's gonna be you're gonna want to be perfectly flat. So I just like to. That's how I like to do it. Honestly, just keep on rewatching it until you get either the timing. There's also multiple methods to do that. There's just no one way you can actually just make that jump. So just find the uh, method that you like doing for that specific jump if you are gonna do FFM jump. And already, unlike any percent, obviously as the category says, we're not going to be skipping any of the levels. We are going to do all, uh, all of them. So we're going to want to do, make sure you do skip the cutscene before you do want to roll. You're going to want to simply just roll over here to this clue. Now just bring it back to Velma. Now you're going to want to jump over here real quick. Jump on this. Now you want to line yourself up. Right here in this corner, make sure you are running. Then you're going to want to double jump and press left so you regain your jump. Then you can simply jump to the right and ground pound so you can get on top of here. Now you're going to collect the coin. And you're simply just going to keep on heading forward so you actually just go to the first level. Simply just gonna go to the right real quick. Oops. Right now we're gonna be doing a trick called trampoline storage. So what you wanna do is simply just just walk or run on this, and as soon as you stand on it for a little bit, jump on the trampoline, you will you'll regain your jumps real quick. So just jump and grab up this ledge, ride down this little elevator, and you're gonna wanna just run in this corner real quick, hold forward. 
and go to the right. If you get stuck right here, you are sadly are gonna have to exit the level. So do be quick about it. That is something that can happen. And if you are learning this, it will probably happen a lot. It will just be something you're gonna have to just learn. So we'll simply just do all the tricks again. Again, just walk on it for a bit. You're able to regain your double jumps. There you go. Oops. There you go. It's fine if you do hit invisible wall. It might just be the van. Maybe I did hit it first try and I was just maybe dumb. My view. So you're going to want to do, once you're out of bounds, just try to follow this route I'm going. Then you're going to want to, as soon as the road ends, like right there, you want to come back here to this trash can. You can click the Scooby Snack if you want to. And there's basically just invisible platforms. You're able to, you're able to just walk upon, upon it. So you're just going to walk until like the furthest point. Double jump and just ground pound. So you can get on the back into the level. Skip the cutscene and just get over here. We're going to be doing a small skip. As soon as you get on the uh, little elevator, you're going to want to face here. You don't want to just simply double jump and just ground pound and mash your stick. Obviously, if you just mess up, just keep on trying and trying again. There you go. That's what the trick looks like if you do work. If you, if you don't want to do that, you can simply just do the regular platforming. It's perfectly fine. Then you just want to jump on here. Just keep on going forward. Alright, there's going to be a cutscene, you're just going to want to skip it and just roll to the right. Now we're actually on conveyor, you're just going to want to simply just go to the right, then left. That's how a lot of this level is going to be working. You are going to want to try to skip most ladders just by simply running off a bit and double jumping as basically you'll, you'll be underneath the little like ladder and you'll be able to make the jump still. You can also still ground pound if you are struggling. Also, when you get on this trampoline, don't bother going to the left. Just simply go to the right. Get this clue. We're going to do the same thing. Just skip this ladder. Also, for this trampoline, it's pretty finicky. I just like to roll most of the time on it. Alright, we're going to be doing the skip for here for Cookie Factory. I'm going to show you two ways to set up the trampoline storage. One, you can just simply just run on the conveyor belt and just get on the trampoline. Double jump. Make sure you ground pound over here. Since I messed it up, I'll show you. By the way, it's a bit slower, but you're going to want to get over here and simply just walk off. You'll also just get the trampoline storage effect. It's also going to be a trick that's pretty hard as it's you really won't have a visual indicator. So you're just going to want to just have a, an angle that you're just going to want to go at. So as soon as that can as soon as you like see your camera move up here, just simply just keep on mashing double jump and hopefully you would have land right here. And you're simply just going to get on the trampoline, get on the ladder. So if we just keep on going right and you'll be at the end of the level. Click the clue. Jump past here and that's going to be the end of Cookie Factory. Alright, sewers. You are going to be mashing through uh, a lot of cutscenes that just shows you giving the clues to Velma. So just get ready for that. Alright, you're going to want to head left. Go up these stairs. Go down here, and you're going to want to get the Kung Fu suit, which we already clicked the token for, so just simply enter the machine. You're going to hold X and just simply blast the debris out of the way, so you gain access to the level. Alright, so the first thing we're actually be doing in this level is farming Mubber real quick. 
We don't need much, but we do need uh, some other for the Kung Fu suits. So just simply roll into the lady two times, ground pound on this, hit these two boxes, and simply just hit the two spiders, and you will have plenty of enough to actually get access to the costume. Just run over here. Also, for the main form of movement that we do for Kung Fu is uh, dive kicking. It's really fast, so it's something you probably want to practice as well. You can do it the same as rolling by simply just rolling your uh, thumb from A to B. So now what we're going to do is simply just head forward. We're just going to be on this platform. So what we're going to want to do, you can wait for it to get to the highest point of elevation. So we, that's what we're going to wait for. You're going to want to just dive kick, double jump, dive kick, and jump again, and you'll be able to make the gap. As soon as you get over here, dive kick your way to this platform. Now you're going to want to do is simply just get on this. As soon as you get to this door, just simply blast it away, get to the next zone. You're gonna want to head right. You're gonna want to get on this platform real quick. As soon as it's at its highest elevation, you're gonna just want to double jump so you can grab this ledge. You're gonna want to turn your camera to the left so you can see this elevator. Grab onto it. Make sure when it's, make sure it's also at its highest elevation. Then you're gonna want to run off to the right and simply go forward. You're gonna want to curve around. As soon as you're on this platform, you're gonna want to. Simply just line yourself up. That's how I like to line myself up for the trick. Dive kick, jump. It's honestly a pretty small flow. As soon as you see yourself jump, you're going to want to instantly just jump again. And just keep on following the route I do. You also have to be very fast with it to get up here. So don't take your time just trying to do the jump as you'll simply just slide off of it. So simply just try to react as fast as you can. We're going to skip the cutscene. You're just going to want to hold forward for the more, most of this part. Because it's simply just a little, like, just auto-scroller, basically. Try to ignore most of the food. And the route, there is a specific route we do go for this. So make sure you are going left first. Obviously, just try to avoid most of the pillars and whirlpools. You're also going to want to go left again. Alright, then for the last part, you're actually going to go right. So just remember the path is going to be left, left, right. So if we just keep on avoiding these pillars. Alright, we're at the end of it. Simply skip the cutscene. Turn over here. You are going to lose your Kung Fu suit, but it's fine. You can simply just double jump and ground pound so you can grab the zip line. Just keep on going up these platforms. Then you're going to want to start rolling through here. Alright, just to make the demonstration a bit easier, I'm just going to get rid of these ghouls real quick. So you're going to want to do is we're actually just going to clip through this gate. So you're going to want to line yourself up right here. Simply just run at this specific part of the little gate. Double jump and just simply ground pound. And you'll simply just keep on holding forward when you do the ground pound. Don't bother resetting your stick back to neutral. Keep on holding forward. It'll be outside the gate. So let me just grab the clue and that'll be the end of sewers. Alright, temple. Which is... My opinion, the hardest level of, time, of Chinatown, because the tricks can be pretty difficult. Alright, just skip the one cuts and we have to do go. You're just simply going to go forward as soon as that does end to Temple. Alright, 
hurry. You're gonna want to head left as soon as it starts, just so there's no annoyance. You can just get rid of all the rats real quick. Make sure you do destroy this bird cage. You're gonna want to angle yourself like this real quick, and you're just gonna want to hold forward, roll, and at the maximum height, you're gonna want to double jump. Maybe my angle's a bit off. This is why, honestly, this is kind of the hardest part of Temple. Simply just this roll. As it is pretty. You can all, you don't have to line yourself up with this tree. You can also just come over here and simply just roll. There we go. We'll obviously just get a first try like that. As soon as you are up here, you want to jump on this. You are going to have to be quick on how you do this, so as soon as you jump up here, you're going to want to roll, just simply straight, and just simply jump and ground pound over here. Alright, if it is a ninja, make sure you do hit him. I just like to ensure that I do hit the enemy, just so I don't get any damage. As soon as you do hit the gong, you're just going to get on these platforms right up the waterfall, be at the next section. I'm also going to be leaking a playlist for all the tricks, which is going to be for like all level skips and any percent skips, as there is another way to get up this cliff, which we're going to do, but this is the method I like to do. Simply just going to angle yourself up like this, I'll show it again. Oops, we'll die, so we'll just be able to show again either way. So you're going to want to line yourself up like this. You're just going to want to hold forward, and honestly, this is going to be the hardest part is simply just making sure your angle is correct. You don't have to keep on readjusting down there, you can just simply keep on trying to roll at it again. As we're simply just trying to roll up to a certain part of this rock where we're going to be able to regain our jump, which is right there. That little line you do see, the little dark line, that's basically where you are going to want to aim at. So that will allow you to regain your jump as soon as you are up here. So if you just come over here, hit the gong. Now you just want to just simply keep on going forward. Just ignore whatever enemy spawns out here. Just go to the next loading zone. You, are, you don't need any mumber good thing for this kung fu suit as soon as you gain access to it just simply destroy the door there is going to be a cutscene so be ready for it now we're going to be a fight scene you're going to want to just dodge the first blast or you can just take the first hits you don't want to just take it slow at first don't try to most of the time you just do want to try like this it's easier when the ladies do spawn in because they won't be able to like they won't automatically react to you or you just want to try to just hit them with the blast now we're going to have to hit three gongs real quick. Also, there's going to be a Scooby Snack here, which most of the time will just go out of bounds. But it's still there if it doesn't want to go out of the level. Alright, as soon as you hit the 11th gong, let me just see if there's any more Scooby Snacks just to make sure. There you go. There's another Scooby Snack right there just in case we take any damage. There's going to want to double jump and just simply... You want to double jump and dive kick throughout most of this. Just keep on going forward. As soon as you hit the clue, skip it. As soon as you're on here, you're able to just simply double jump onto the platform. And that'll be the end of Temple. And right now we're all gonna be on Dragon. But we're actually gonna need to solve the mystery as we did collect the necessary clues for it. Alrighty, so the clue order is gonna be Giant fortune cookie, dragon scale, and UV light bulb packing slip. As soon as you do that, just skip all the cutscene. Head over here. Just jump on these boxes onto here. Now you're going to be in front of dragon. So dragon's going to be a boss. You're going to need to practice a lot. Honestly, just play it casually if you are learning this. Simply don't bother just doing what I'm doing. Just simply play the boss fight casually. Make sure we are going to collect 35 mubber real quick. So do that any means way necessary. I'm just doing the fastest route. 
as soon as you do get it, go to the machine right here. I'm still going to be doing some manipulation, so as soon as you head over here, I'm going to hit him with two quick ones. Now I'm going to head over here to this little plate. There we go. I want to head back here, destroy these boxes as they do house rats. Wait for him to simply just come back over here. And with two quick ones yet again. You're going to want to jump back to where we were, to the plate over here. You're going to simply just hit him twice yet again. Now go back to where the rats were. Alright, he'll be one hit away from death, which is fine. Collect the Scooby Snack if necessary. Alright, that one will be Dragon. Alright, now we're actually on to World 2. Alrighty. So the first thing we are going to do is simply go over here to this trash can. This trash can is able to be destroyed, so be very careful. Don't roll or spin near it. You're going to want to simply just double jump onto it and simply go to the left as soon as you are on it. It's pretty finicky, as you can see, so as soon as you're like this, simply just double jump to the left and ground pound. As soon as you do get on top of here, I'm going to show you a trick. You want to make sure there's four stars showing to the right of Scooby. Turn your camera to where it's like this, and you're simply just going to hold forward. Alrighty, I didn't get it. Alright, maybe it was... Alright. Maybe it was three stars, I might have been wrong. As soon as your camera's like this, just hold forward. Jump, jump on that little thin line. Collect the token. Also, if you if you can't get this, what you can simply do is simply just ignore it. Grab the clue down here and simply just beat the first level. You'll gain access to springs, which will allow you just to get the, the coin or the token normally if you just want to do that. You can also just do the same for, uh, 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 what you call it, Chinatown if you just want to do that. Simply just beat Cookie Factory normally. You will gain access to the token just by simply collecting one of the clues. You can also just do that. Alright, Haunted House. Haunted House is easily the quickest level. Because there's only like two tricks, but it skips a huge part of this level. As soon as you get on this little roller coaster, simply just grab the chandelier and jump on here. As soon as you are, there's going to be cuts you need to skip. Now you're going to want to do simply go to this bookcase, double jump, and ground pound onto it. Now this part's kind of hard. As to where there's a lot of just stuff that can happen. So you're going to want to wait for the chandelier until it's the most part forward to us as soon as that does happen we're going to double jump at it and simply just try to get towards the railing here it's honestly a pretty hard trick which is something i do recommend you do practice Because something I am going to try to show is simply once you get a specific launch, once you get do get a high launch, so what you're going to want to do is simply just start uh, tilting your control stick to the right a little bit and that will make, make sure you do land on the railing. But as soon as you are actually up on here, you're going to want to just simply destroy the window, jump through it. Now you're going to want to get on here. Now you're going to want to jump on this. There we go. As soon as you're on top of here, you'll want to just jump towards this. Make sure You can just ground pound or just double jump. It's fine. You won't be able to see forward much, but as soon as you do move forward through it, you will. You're just going to want to hold forward, double jump, and there you go. As soon as you collect the spring clue, just simply go through this window and just keep on going forward. Ouch. Just take the route I am going. Once you get to these chandeliers, simply just jump on them. And as soon as you do see this clue, just simply jump towards the clue. And there you go, that'll be the end of Haunted House. It's, as I said, a pretty short level.
Alright, we're going to be skipping a bunch of cutscenes yet again. Now you can use the back costume now. As soon as you grab onto it, just simply hold A on this air current to gain access to Water Park. Alrighty, so the first thing we're simply to do is actually just go on a water slide. It's gonna be the first thing you do in this level. Not wait, there's no any way you can skip it, so just simply just ride it down and just enjoy the ride. I am gonna recommend you simply do roll into this lady three times, because there's gonna be a pretty, we are gonna need Mubber. 200 to be exact, so let's just try to get the most we can. Ignore the enemies. And also for those, uh, like, I guess, trap trapezes, I guess. You can simply just keep, you can just mash A on those. You're simply going to want to just jump on these tambourines. Go down yet another slide. Alrighty, destroy these boxes over here. There's gonna be an enemy on the bridge. Hopefully they don't fall off. It's fine if they do fall off. There'll be another machine over here. You can either farm most of the mubber here, or you can do what I'm about to show. Simply just destroy the machine. We'll have a. You'll try to just be try try to be close to like 90. It's fine if you do have 80, as it's basically RNG on the amount of mubber you will get from that machine. So it's perfectly fine if you don't have the mount I do. Simply ride down the water slide yet again. Jump on this tambourine. Oops. I'm just going to collect the Scooby Snack just to make sure. Alright. Now just get on the zip line. Now just keep on going forward. There is going to be another cutscene introducing some enemies. Now you're going to want to do bait their attack real quick. Now you're just going to want to double jump and just simply hold A and just try to keep on bouncing between them. This is how you're going to farm the rest of the mubber. And yet again, if you don't want to do it this way, this is honestly something that's going to have to be built up as it's pretty hard even for me to still do is mubber farm. You're going to want around 200. If you're around 95, you're fine. If you're if you're at 190, you basically you either want to be at 200 or at 190. Now you want to do is simply run over here, roll. All right. There you go. It's honestly pretty hard. You're gonna want to try to. You're gonna want to try to like go at it at like an angle so you can gain the extra height. Granted, I'm not the best at it. There we go. I've gained enough height, but I think. Dang. I don't want to cheat my way. I just want to get this roll. Oh, is that the magical part? Alright, I guess I get get to this part of the window. Simply just roll and you'll most likely be able to just go through it. Dang. There we go. So yeah, yeah, just get to that part of the window and simply just try to roll up here. There's gonna be some bonus uh, mubber over here, so just in case if you're short like me at like 190, you'll perfectly have enough. As soon as you get the back costume, just simply get on these air currents. Also, sorry if that took so long. I'm just not the best at that skip. Alright. Alright, we're just simply just want to enter the loading zone. As we're basically going to be... As obviously there's going to be only one way to end a water park level, which is going to be on a giant slide. Just skip the cutscene. 
And for this, you can turn the camera. Most of the time, the camera will follow you, so just simply, you can turn it though, which makes it a lot easier. And you're simply just going to want to try to avoid a lot of the obstacles. There's not much for me to say, it's going to just be up to y'all to do it. Alright, as soon as you do get this marshmallow, press B. Don't press A. Make sure you are pressing B just because you will accidentally jump and you may just fall to your death. So don't do that. It's fine if you do take a couple hits. There's plenty of Scooby Snacks down the slide. Just make sure you don't die because if you do die from either falling off or taking too much damage, uh, you are going to have to do this section yet again. You can mash A as soon as you do grab the meat up in the air because you're already mid-jump. Alrighty, as soon as you get on this part of the slide, you're done with the level. Alrighty, since we didn't collect the actually clue necessary to solve the mystery, we're actually not going to be solving the mystery for World 2. Funny enough, we're simply, we, for all levels, we actually don't need to solve the mysteries. We simply just need to beat all the levels. So as soon as you do, you don't have to skip any cutscene. Just simply go down here, gain your back, get your back costume. Glide over here to these barrels. Also something that might happen if you are trying to do this trick, if I can get stuck in here. There you go. If you do get stuck in this spot, don't hit B. Just keep on mashing A. You'll eventually get out. There we go. But as soon as you are on this barrel, you're going to want to face forward. As soon as you jump, hold forward and simply just start wiggling your stick. As soon as you gain enough height, you're going to want to actually face all the way over here and glide over here towards the tent. And you're simply going to enter circus tent. And in my opinion, this is easily the hardest level just because of one trick. Okay, we're going to continue forward. We are going to do the same thing that we did in Water Park, is Mubber Farming, which is bait these strongmen. You can jump over here just so you're safe. As soon as you are ready, just simply double jump and hold A. Just yet again, just try your best to stay on top of them. Make sure you don't drop your combo. As the longer you are keeping the combo, the more mubber you will be getting. You're only going to need 200 yet again for this level. There's going to be a cutscene, just skip it. It's just introducing the clowns. You can simply hit this one off. Just wait till you get to the zip line. And just simply dodge the Targul balloons. I go on ahead right onto this tiger cage. Simply jump on it. Collect the Scooby Stack if needed. You want to face straight over here. Just want to hold forward, double jump, and ground pound. So you get in here. You don't need to collect that clue. Simply just head over to this platform and head out of here. Uh, I like to hit the strongman just so he doesn't like interrupt you while you're waiting for these, for the swings. And, and you also don't have to do anything, they're not they're not finicky like hooks, you simply just press A to get onto them and press A to let go and the game will do it for you. Alrighty, so what we're actually going to be doing in this level is backtracking. So press R so you can actually have your camera like this, get the back costume. Don't bother riding the air current unless you don't want to do this trick, then you can just play the level casually, but it's pretty long. What we're going to try to do is get past these UV lights, so as soon as you are like this, you're going to want to jump and go to the left, grab onto this. As soon as you are up there, just simply just get up on it. You just want to get on these trampolines. Just take the route I am going if you are going to be doing it this way is for the backtracking. As we are going to be just simply heading back to the start of the level to do a trick.
Alrighty. We are nearing the start of the level. So we're going to want to do as soon as you get back here, make sure you do hit the checkpoint. Alrighty. Now this, the only reason why Circuit Sent is hard is simply just because of this trick, as there's practically no visual indicator. It's something you just have to get the, you know, feeling for. As we're simply going to want to jump, as there's actually an invisible platform on top of checkpoints that you can land on. That's where we're going to do, to do a little trick. So you simply just want to hold left. Hopefully you do gain on it. If you don't, just simply just keep on trying and trying again. Once you do gain the ability to double jump, simply just make sure you are. Once you get on this, you can try to land on this. And what we're going to want to do, you're simply just going to want to double jump, glide over here. And for electric water, if, since the bat suit's very weird, for some weird reason, for any floor that damages you, uh, you can simply just, if you do time it right, you are able to just simply double jump on upon it without taking damage. Honestly, I got it first try, which is pretty awesome, but it's something that you won't get first try. It will be something you're going to have to just simply build the feeling for, for both getting on the TV, getting on that part of the corner, and simply try to avoid the damage on the electric water. You also didn't collect the clue necessary. So as soon as you'll simply just spawn down here, what you're going to want to do, simply go back to the back costume. Now you're just going to want to do the same thing that we did to gain access to Circus Tent. Except we're simply just going to, instead of going all the way to Circus Tent, we're actually just going to go to Katargul. So simply just jump on the barrel, wiggle your stick. Now you're just going to want to head right, just simply drop. Alright, skip the cutscene. I'm going to show you the route that I do for him. Come over here and hit this spider. Hit this one. Now hit it before the other mirrors drop down. That's called early mirrors. It's a little trick that we do to speed up this fight. There we go. Now we're on the final phase. This, these mirrors are going to take two hits. Honestly, this part, you can either just play this part casually or just try to learn the manipulations and where the spider spawns. As basically, the spiders don't spawn in random places, they do spawn in set locations. Alright, I didn't get the best RNG for the third phase, but it's fine. We can simply just take our time with it, destroy the, more of the mirrors just so it's easier to hit Guitar Ghoul once he's done doing all this guitar stuff. Alrighty, that's gonna be Guitar Ghoul. Alright, we're actually in World 3, and if you did follow the Any% Percent guide or tutorial, basically the rest of this is just normal, as we don't skip any of the levels in World 3, so this is basically going to be, you know, custom to you. But for those who are learning just all levels, you, you want to come over here to Velma, just skip all the conversation so she can move to a certain spot, collect this clue. Now give it to Velma so you can have access to the first level. Alrighty, as soon as the level starts, we're simply just going to keep on heading forward. Skip a cutscene. You can also mubber farm this if you want to. You can bring two pterodactyls and mubber farm, but it's slower, so just follow the route I'm doing. Make sure you do have 45 before you are going to jump on this turtle. You can get the 45 number any way you want to. Alright, simply just destroy the pterodactyl and destroy machine as we only need 100 for this level to gain access to the suit that we need. So that's perfectly fine that we got 100. There's still plenty of more pterodactyl that you can uh, destroy if you need more mubber. Also, you can buffer jumps while you're doing the rolls on these rocks. Grab this clue. Just smash B to skip it. All 
there you just want to head left to get on these platforms you will be on cycle so don't worry about any of the poison streams and if you do have to you can simply just wait all right you're gonna want to be on this far most part to this corner you'll want to double jump and you'll be make sure you won't so it'll basically ensure that you don't grab the ledge it's just a little bit faster it's fine if you do grab the ledge for that Already skip another cutscene, go into the loading zone, skip another cutscene. I just simply get the bat soup. You wanna hover over these air currents yet again. Go over here to this turtle. Do the same thing, just simply hover. As soon as the camera changes, you're gonna wanna go forward. Over to these platforms with spiders. Just ignore them. Be on this far part of the corner just so you won't grab the ledge. It's fine if you do. Just make sure you are jumping just so you don't keep on re-grabbing it. Grab the clue. Jump over here to this. As soon as the camera changes, you're able to just fly again. You just wanna go over here to this turtle on the right. Keep on going up. Collect this clue as it is necessary to actually solve the mystery. Alrighty. So as soon as you jump on the second turtle, stop right here. Don't go past this machine. What you're going to want to do is simply just double jump off and glide. That just basically avoids a little cutscene. You're simply just going to glide to this hole now. And as soon as you are, just drop down. Now you're simply just going to do an auto, like basically a chase scene. You can just follow the the path I'm taking as to basically, this is just, you can basically uh, manip these pterodactyls on where they go. Most of the time you're simply just going to be chilling in corners as they simply just can't hit you there most of the time. There'll be not much that we do for the rest of this level. If they do die like that, we might get the glitch. We shall see. Alright, we did get the glitch. If they somehow destroy themselves, then basically what will happen is that they actually won't attack you anymore. So if you do get that glitch, that's perfectly good. That'll be the end of Dinosaur Exhibit, a very simple level. Alright, we are going to be skipping. So you're going to want to hold your control stick forward and just simply just keep on mashing A. You are just going to be skipping a bunch of bunch of cutscenes. You're also going to be making sure you don't get put into this conversation between Velma. What you want to do is simply go up, up to the right of these stairs. Jump on this railing. Jump on this planet. Jump over here. Collect the Robin Hood token. Now you have the Robin Hood suit. Now you want to go to the left of these stairs now. Oh, I guess my save was actually formatted correctly, but what you would do is simply just shoot down the shield and you'll simply just get access to the next level. Alrighty, so we're going to be, I'm only going to be showing you one way to actually do this because I don't want to tell people night clip. So just simply get on these boxes. You can either double jump up here. There's also another way to get on top of here. I'm going to just simply just destroy the knight. You're going to want to destroy the boxes, get in this corner, roll. And you're going to want to just simply angle to the right so you can get on top of here as well. It's going to be somewhere, it's going to be a chimney roll. So I like to line myself up like this. And I'm basically going to angle my roll because you're going to want to delay your roll. Don't do it automatically like this. Make sure you delay it a little bit. So you're going to want to do is simply roll. You're going to want to simply head towards the left. If you don't make sure, you'll gain a sense of when you can and can't make the jump. Like that, that was too steep. There we go. You can simply jump and ground pound. As soon as you get, as soon as you do get on top of here, hit the button. Go down, go into the fireplace. Head left. Just 
destroy these buttons. Simply try to just go underneath the hooks as they're pretty slow and they're and also hooks specifically in medieval are pretty bad for whatever reason. Simply just take the ladder, get on the zip line. You can interrupt it just by just jumping on that. Hopefully we do make the cycle. We do. It's fine if you do fall down here. You can simply just ride this little elevator just so you can get back up to here. And for this part, I'm actually going to show you. I'm going to show you the casual way. I'm going to show you the faster way. So for hooks, you can you simply just rock your stick back and forth between left and right. You can wait for the poison stream. And what I like to do to make sure I grab them is simply just double tap A. So you can either do it like that, but I'm also going to show you another method. I'm just going to get rid of this knight so he's not annoying. You're also going to need to farm 25 mubber for this level so you can destroy him for the mubber. I'm going to go down here, set up a trampoline storage, line myself up on the middle of this. As soon as I know I have the trampoline storage set up, I'm simply just going to run straight towards the screen, double jump, and simply just turn right to grab the ledge. I'll get on top of here. You can do the same thing, grab the, le the hooks casually. Oops, I messed up. But what I'm actually going to do is do another uh, trampoline storage once I get back up there. As this is basically a trick called hookless. So if you, as soon as the stream goes off, you're going to want to try to make it. Then that's going to be hookless. As soon as you are on top of here, you can destroy these boxes for more mubber. Don't actually bother getting on the ladder. What you're actually going to want to do is simply hit X to butt slide. You'll be butt sliding on there. You want to get on these leaves. There's also an elevator there, so it's fine if you do, if you don't make the leaves. On the left over here is a Scooby Snack and Needed and more uh, boxes, even though they despawned for whatever reason. <laughs> I've never seen that. Uh, so just make sure you do have 25 member. We are going to be doing a fight skip. So you want to, you can simply just double jump and just punch the wall. I'm going to show you another method. We just go back into the fight. You're going to want to just simply ride the elevator down. Ride it. Wait for it to go back up. You want to go down here. Simply just try to, you want to try to have like a bottom angle, like at the notch and simply just punch, just punch in this corner. You'll eventually just clip through it. If the knight's giving you trouble, you can simply just destroy him. Simply just punch it until you eventually just clip through it. Just simply get on the trampolines, collect the clue. That'll be the end of Medieval. Alright, Underseed, I'm going to be showing two methods actually how to complete this level. One without the Robin Hood suit and one with it. You do save around 20 to 30 seconds without doing it, but it's a lot harder. So we're simply going to show it how to do it with the Robin Hood suit first. So if we just run over here and simply just hit the shark so you can gain access to Undersea. Skip the cutscene. You're gonna to want to destroy these two boxes. You'll have an only you'll only get ten, but that's enough to just gain access to Rasheen. Now you're gonna to want to do simply run over here, hold X, shoot a plunger. There you're gonna to want to get on the turtle. You can either take this casually to the jellyfish, or you can do this a little skip. You can simply just double jump towards the jellyfish. All you want to do is simply hit this. We just jump on the platform. Also, be ready. So as soon as you want, as soon as you land on this submarine, you're automatically going to want to go on the leaves to the left. So to show that, that's what you're going to want to do. Uh, you, you don't have to collect that plan. I meant to jump actually towards the Scooby Snack. Now you want to get on these pipes, which is fine. There you go. Skip the cutscene, ignore him, go to the leaves yet again, go to the submarine. You can jump on the edge of these uh, tentacles, but they're just basically trampolines as you can see right there. All you want to do is simply just hit these targets. The first one will spawn in a submarine, the second one will spawn in, the other two will just spawn in platforms. Fine. If you you can hit the third, you can hit all three from the the platform. 
but as soon as the submarine does come to you, you can just simply hit the third one. Collect the clue. Alrighty. Now there's gonna simply just be an airplane section. What I like to do is simply just head up top and basically you won't be able to get hit by any of the blimps or airplanes. There's also gonna be some food throughout this part, so this also just avoids that. Alrighty, as soon as you do see the broccoli, you're actually just gonna wanna drop down just so you don't get hit by the top airplane over here. As soon as you do pass it, you're just able to head back top. Alrighty, skip the cutscene and automatically just go forward to the submarine, collect the clue. We are just gonna wait. Want to try to be on the most right part is you want to hit the third eye. As soon as you do, jump over here to the trampoline. Take your time with this trick, as the longer you do be on here, the higher of the height you will get. So you want to do is simply jump and just simply go around the visible wall. And that's going to be undersea with Robin, with the Robin Hood suit. But I'm going to be showing a method without it. But since we did collect the clues necessary. I'm going to show you actually how to solve the mystery first before we head to Caveman. Simply skip the cutscene. So you want to do is simply click. You want to click on Dinosaur Bone, FFM Contract, and Camera Tripod. And I'll solve the mystery for this level. And I'm going to go back and show you how to do Undersea without the Robin Hood suit. Alrighty. Simply just start the level by just going straight to the turtle. As soon as, as soon as it stops, you're going to want to double jump and ground pound. Make sure you do wiggle as I'll basically gain you extra distance. As soon as you get on the jellyfish, you want to do the same thing. Get over here. Go to the right of the submarine. If you do fail the jump or any of the jumps, it's simply fine. The submarine will spawn in lower. will make uh, getting onto it a lot easier. As soon as you are on it, just get on the leaves. Like the Scooby Snack, drop off over here from the Scooby Snack. You're gonna want to patch up this rat hole real quick. As soon as you do, you're gonna want to roll. And as soon as you are on this part of the submarine, you see how I'm able to just simply just jump and roll yet again. That's where you're gonna want to be a part of. You're gonna want to jump, roll, jump, roll. And as soon as you're on top of here, you can do that. As soon as you're on this part of the submarine, what you're gonna want to do simply just jump around these railings don't go through that hole yet because if you are going to do this way to actually uh, uh, undersea what you actually need to do is jump down here to this tentacle you don't want to line yourself up on this part of it you want to do is simply do full jumps and then you're going to want to do a ground pound to the left now you'll be able to collect the clue necessary to solve the mystery that's, that's the only reason why we do need to go down there so we do collect the clue necessary to solve the mystery now you're simply just going to do the same thing that we did for Robin Hood suit. You're simply just going to want to just fly up here. You're simply just wait for this part to end. As soon as you see the broccoli, you can just simply drop down. Destroy all the blimps in your way. As soon as you see that green airplane above you pass, you can simply go back up again. Alright, skip the cutscene and you'll automatically just spawn in with the Robin Hood suit so you don't have to worry about it. You are just simply going to do the same thing that we did. Wait until we get to the third eye. Shoot it jump on it, go to the right, and there you go. Now I'll actually split. Alright, for Caveman, uh, the World 3 boss. 
All I'm gonna say is good luck, as that's basically what the whole boss fight is. It's simply just RNG. I'll explain more about it later. What you want to do is simply get on this planet. If you if you are gonna do a Robin Hood list, you actually don't need to collect the token. So you can simply just grab it on your way to Caveman, but you simply just want to keep on jumping from planet to planet. You are gonna have to collect the lobster, but it's it's fine. Simply get over here with Fred and Daphne, and you simply just want to head into the fight. Skip the cutscene. Simply just hit them forward. The power-ups you do want are the red ones, which are the spark shooters. Just simply mash B for that. You'll basically just gain free, uh, a free three hits. If you do grab deep freeze, it's also fine because he basically will slow down. And if you're lucky enough, you will basically just keep on pinballing into other stuff. Electro mines, just don't bother with these. Don't bother, don't bother placing them down. They're honestly more hazardous to you than actually to the boss. And there's also going to be some phases. For the second phase, wires will simply just hang about. Thank goodness, we got a deep freeze. We got another spark shooter. Now we're on the third phase. Basically, for the third phase, the wires are still shut, are still here. But another problem is that Caveman somehow got a spark shooter. So just be careful. He will be able to shoot that at you, as you can see. So please try to click deep freezes so you won't do that. Also, mash, keep on mashing B if you do get a deep freeze. Hopefully, you will just have decent RNG to simply beat Caveman. All right now, we're going to be doing back to FFM, which is basically a harder version of the tutorial level that we just started the game with. Skip the cutscene. Alrighty. Simply just... Do, just keep on going the same way that you went. Granted, just make sure you do double jump over this electric water. You do have to hit the button again, so remember that. Skip the cutscene for it. Ignore, just basically ignore all the enemies. There, you really don't need to kill any of them. Go down the mubber slide. Roll over here. You're actually already gonna have to use the spring, so do it. Jump over here to these platforms. Alrighty, we simply just keep on doing the same as a lot of this level just plays the same until this point. So as soon as you do go down the slide, I'm going to be showing a quick little trick. You're simply just going to do a single jump onto the ninja's head and simply jump and ground pound on top of here for the button. But I'm going to show you another method. Let me just destroy the ninjas here. There we go. So what you can do is simply get on these barrels, double jump, ground pound, Oop. double jump, ground pound, there we go. You can do the same thing that you did for uh, beginning FFM if you, do, if you did the skip this way. Simply get on that little place where you can keep on jumping, go to the right, and just hit the button as it is necessary. Now get on the springs. As soon as you get to the Scooby Snack, you want to get to this part of the platform, get on the hook, wait for the poison stream, simply double, uh, just double tap A to hopefully get on the next hook. Simply wait for that platform and just hit the button. Now grab the zip line, just ignore the knight, so just keep on rolling forward. Normally that level would end here for FFM, but it actually continues on, so just keep on going forward. Skip the cutscene. You're going to want to roll once over here and roll twice to defeat all the enemies. Skip all this cutscene. Now we're actually on the final boss. We're just going to be utilizing all of the power-ups that we did gain. So make sure you did collect all the uh, suits. So we just want to go right at the beginning of the fight to get access to the machine. Simply wait for him to do another flame breath here. You will do it again. So just bait it again. And make sure when you are shooting arrows to make sure that you aren't holding forward. Just simply aim it with left and right. And you're simply just going to keep on waiting for him to just simply bait the fire. 
reveal the target in his mouth. Simply to take down this boss fight. That'll be phase one of this boss fight. For the next phase, skip the cutscene. And as soon as you do, you're gonna wanna do a clockwise motion. So you can both avoid the fire breath that he's gonna be shooting. And also, it's actually gonna manip the boss, as you'll see, as he'll simply go off the screen. Now there's gonna be some QTEs. I like to just stay on top, just cause a lot of it's not gonna be, gonna be hurting you. Alrighty, as soon as he does come back, we are simply just gonna keep on doing the clockwise motion, as we did again. He is gonna do two flame breaths. There you go, we're gonna manip him again, just so he gets off the screen a little bit faster. So a little bit faster QT, so just be prepped here, don't sleep on this part. But nothing too hard. As soon as you hit down, you're basically at the end of the section. Alright, so you're going to want to just simply skip the cutscene. You'll automatically have the Kung Fu suit. Hit this lamp, run over here to the machine, and simply just start throwing blasts at him. You can time it. It's fine if you do take hits. Alrighty. As soon as that happens, just keep on mashing A. And as soon as you see the screen, that will be time. And that's going to be the end of the all levels tutorial for Scooby-Doo Unmasked. I uh, do hope this does help you as some of the tricks will be able to be carried from all levels to any percent and some of the tricks from any percent will be carried to all levels. So I will be linking my any percent tutorial down in the description. So hopefully you all enjoyed this. And yep, this could be the end of this. I hope you all have a fantastic existence.